Hi, welcome to the channel. So, if you are thinking about changing your old wooden floor, or you are moving into a new space, and you are interested in a natural, easy to maintain flooring choice, then this video is for you. But before we start, let me introduce our multimedia company Mantra 5. At Mantra 5, we offer solutions on your audio, video, web portals, design and events requirements. Do contact us in the email given in the description below. Basics of Hardwood Flooring, Part 1 It is always good to have the bigger picture. So, here we go. Throughout history, the unique characteristics and comparative abundance of wood have made it a natural material for homes and other structures, furniture, tools and decorative objects. Examples are galore. The Shakyamuni Pagoda of China has been standing for over 950 years. The oldest stave church of Norway of the 12th century is a fascinating structure. Wooden components of an even earlier church were used to build it. And not to forget the ancient temples of Japan. Clearly, wood has proven it can stand the test of time. Today, for the same reasons, wood is prized for a multitude of use. All wood is composed of cellulose, lignin, hemicelluloses, and 5 to 10 percent amounts of extraneous materials. Variations in the characteristics and volume of these components and differences in cellular structure makes wood heavy or light, stiff or flexible, and hard or soft. Therefore, selection of wood by species alone may be adequate. However to use wood to its best advantage and most effectively in engineering applications, physical properties must be considered. Trees are classified into two types, hardwoods and softwoods. These names can be confusing. This is because some hardwoods are softer than softwoods. And conversely some softwoods are harder than hardwoods. Let us look at the basic differences. Hardwoods are deciduous and have a complex anatomy. They are dense and last longer than softwoods. Some examples are oak, teak, maple, walnut and mahogany. Soft woods are coniferous and evergreen. They have a less complex anatomy and therefore are less dense. The durability is less than that of hardwoods. Pine, spruce and fir are some examples. Interestingly, almost 80% of wood comes from softwood. In terms of cost, hardwood is more expensive than softwood. Let us consider hardness. The species of wood is a factor to be looked at. When it comes to flooring, hardwood is more durable than softwood flooring. To understand hardwood better, we also need to know about solid hardwood and engineered hardwood. Solid hardwood flooring boards are milled from a single piece of wood. Engineered wood refers to the way it is made. It is a combination of a top layer of real wood with the core made of plywood or high-density fiber board. We will now look at the characteristics of engineered hardwood. It is far stronger than solid hardwood. It is more structurally sound. This means that engineered wood will not buckle, twist or gap. It is more dimensionally stable. It is less likely to warp due to seasonal change. It is time to now talk about the subject of this video, hardwood flooring. Let us look at the pros and cons of hardwood. First, we will understand the pros in the upcoming slides. You get a variety of colors. Custom colors are also possible. Natural look is preferred by many. In terms of style, hardwood flooring has timeless appeal. It can, therefore, add value to your home. It is smooth underfoot, yet has good grip, and is well suited for your interiors. It is also warm underfoot making it a good fit in colder regions. It can be easily cleaned with a vacuum cleaner or a sweeper. Hardwood is renewable and environmentally friendly. Now, hardwood is of two different types, unfinished and pre-finished. Once you understand the basic differences, you will be able to make the right choice for your home easily. Let us cover unfinished hardwood flooring first. Unfinished hardwood is durable. It has lower initial material cost. Because it is sanded after it is installed, there is no board height discrepancy. If you want to refinish the flooring in future, it is possible. There won't be much difficulty. 
Resanding and restaining can also be done several times, if you so wish. The choice of unfinished hardwood flooring allows you custom colors. If you want a unique shade, a custom stain can be done. Pre-finished hardwood flooring has its merits. With pre-finished hardwood flooring, installation is quick. It can be installed below grade and directly to concrete. The flooring can be used immediately after installation. There is no wait time. Isn't that a good thing? In general, pre-finished hardwood is exceptionally durable, more so than unfinished hardwood. You can expect more uniformity and consistency with the coloring and staining of boards. Since it is factory made, each board is finished with a final protective coating before it is sold. If you are employing a professional to do the job, you should be able to rely on workmanship. Any defects can be rectified during the installation process. Warranty is another plus point. This often includes defects in stain and finish coat. We will now look into the demerits of unfinished and pre-finished hardwood flooring. Unfinished hardwood flooring installation takes a significant amount of time for completion. This is because it has to be sanded and finished manually. Often, there is a staining process, in between. Plus, you will have to wait until the curing process is complete. Note that on-site installation can produce mess and toxic fumes. Sanding is a dusty prospect and will require appropriate ventilation. The extra labor that is required for installation makes it more expensive than pre-finished flooring. Unfinished hardwood flooring is not recommended for below-grade locations and wet areas like bathrooms and kitchens. It is prone to stains due to spillage and therefore extra caution is required. Pre-finished hardwood flooring has its own set of demerits. For those who place a high value on unique design, this is probably not the best choice. Color choices are limited and custom-made colors are not possible. The main downside is the limitation of widths, lengths and grain. The initial material cost is higher than that of unfinished hardwood flooring. More on that in a bit. The cost is always a crucial factor in deciding between unfinished and pre-finished flooring. When professionally installed, unfinished hardwood flooring turns out to be more expensive than pre-finished hardwood flooring. This is because of the manual labor involved. With pre-finished hardwood flooring, you will find that there is less installation cost and more material cost. On an average, unfinished hardwood flooring runs about $1 per square feet less than pre-finished hardwood flooring. So, what is the final verdict? When it comes to the unfinished versus pre-finished debate, there is no clear winner. Some people love the natural imperfections of unfinished flooring and the ability to refinish it while others appreciate the convenience of choosing perfectly prepared, flawless, ready-to-install flooring. Now that we know about the basics of hardwood flooring, it is time to end this video. But let me say a few more things. We all know that the, the versatility of wood is undisputable. It is a result of several physical characteristics. To make a choice, is not easy. For some, it is the looks. For others, it is durability. Yet, for many, cost is an important factor. There are other factors that will help you make the final choice for your flooring. These will be covered in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos that are relevant to achieving a sustainable lifestyle. Do subscribe, like and share this video. Hit the bell icon to receive updates. You can write to us on the email given in the description for any of your audio video, web portals, design and event requirements. See you soon.